I'm doing another sit down video. Aww. Uh, what was I gonna say? Like, what? what is this video? Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Today's video is going to be how I edit my thumbnails. Let's begin. I use three apps to make my thumbnails and I'm gonna be showing you guys the apps that I use, how I do it, how I filter my thumbnails, what fonts I use. All that is in this video. So keep watching. Let's go. The first thing you need is a picture or like a screenshot or something. Um, whenever I make like my thumbnails, I just take like 30 minutes to just sit in front of the camera and just so my first app that I need for editing is my Fonto app. And so when you go into Fonto, you want to select plain images because there's like a certain size that you need to like make your thumbnails like fit perfectly into the YouTube screen. Um, so I just take a random one, whatever, and you go to custom sizing and you do 1280, 1280 as the top and then uh, 720 as the bottom line and then you should use that and use so what you do is you save it as a project so you can like always come back to it you don't have to make it every single time and so this is the ideal site i swear if eva does not stop texting me i'm literally gonna uh that is like the ideal size that you need i have this photo from my what's my iphone video this is literally the thumbnail photo that i sent here's the ugly gross nasty ferocious picture for like unedited you know and it's not gonna be in the format that you need for a thumbnail so which is like an issue you're gonna want to size that up and fit it how you want like in the screen if that makes sense so you're gonna want to fit it into the screen what you're gonna do is you want to save that to your camera roll save image so the next step that i go to is lightroom it looks like this and you want to add that to your lightroom like your lightroom app and then the first thing i do is i always decide whether i want to make the photo brighter or darker so like i can make the exposure like this or super dark and you can just kind of like play around with it to see what you like. I used to make it darker, but I realized that was just a lot less attractive to audiences. So I made them a little bit brighter like this. And I look so pale. I look like a literal ghost. So what I do next is I take my highlights and I bring it to the left. So it goes like negative numbers. And I don't have like a specific one I do every time because like each picture is different. I just like bring it down. And then for my shadows, I bring that up. Not too much because then it like ages me by like 35 years. But if you bring it up a little bit, it should like brighten up your picture. And then to fix this mess that we have here, I bring my whites down. And then I bring my blacks down also because it should like make it a little bit more depth, depthy, D depthy, depth, have a little bit more depth. And I don't do anything with my contrast because it just doesn't really do much for me. Here is like the really special fun part to do. I bring up my pink, like the tint to a pink side by a little bit, just like five or something. And I don't really change the temperature because it doesn't really do much for me. Um, and then I like to bring the vibrance up a lot because it just makes it more, more vibrant. So I like to bring up the vibrance. I like to bring up the vibrance and the saturation a little bit just to add a little bit more flavor and color to my video photo. And then I go, so this is like the super fun part. I make my red tones a little bit more pink and I make my purple tones more pink. Okay, look at how much it changes my LED light color. Like I can like make it blue and like pink. Um, but I like to make it a little bit more pink because pink is more of my color. And I next, what do I do next? So with my orange, with my orange shades, I like to bring it up a little bit. And then I like to make it a little bit darker. But that like kind of depends because it changes my skin tone and I don't like that. But it sometimes helps the lighting look a little bit more even. So that's like kind of optional. I don't do it all the time. Uh, I don't really touch the yellows, but I do make the green a little bit more blue to the right. So like plus 20, like I did here. And then I take the cyan color and I bring it over to the blue side and I take this blue and I bring it over to the cyan side. And then I actually bring the blue tones down. 
A lot of people say there's a lot of blue going on, but I actually bring the blue saturation down most of the time when it's like a natural lighting type of thumbnail. And I just make it a little bit darker. That's what I like to do. And so that is it with Lightroom. I'm just gonna take that and export it to my camera roll. Next, you're gonna open up Visco. Uh, here's my Visco if you wanna follow it. It's a mess, because I don't, I don't really know how to use it. What I'm gonna do is now take this photo and bring it to Visco because I usually add a little bit of filter to my thumbnail on top of this. Like sometimes I don't always do it, but I have found a filter that I like a lot and it's C6. Yeah, I, I just look so scary like that, but don't worry. I bring it down like a lot, like you barely can tell. It's just like a little bit, you know, 1% up and press, like if you press and hold, look at the difference. This is like with the filter. I don't know if you can actually see the difference. I don't really know, but I just like to do it on advance. What I do is I go to tone and then I just like make the, what is it? I make the highlights a little bit more up and I bring the skin tone to a little bit over here to make it a little bit more pink in my room overall. And that's all I do with my filtering on my thumbnails. Uh, I sometimes do more or less, but this is kind of just like the basic like line. Now here's like the real part of making a thumbnail. Um, now I'm gonna take this photo and export it to Fonto like always and what I do is now I add my text and I get DMs like millions of DMs more like tens of DMs like maybe hundreds and I always ask like people are always asking like what fonts do I use for my thumbnails and what I do overall so first you click is add text and I'm gonna be showing you guys like the different themes of font that I like to do recently so I'm just gonna use the word text and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make that bigger and the font that I use I usually like to use Hel Helvetica 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 Bold Oblique or Helvetica New Bold Italic. I do both of them. Um, honestly, it just kind of varies, but I've been using this one a little bit more. I don't, I don't really know. I don't see a big difference. I think it's just like a slight difference that you can't even tell. What I've been doing recently is I've been making like my own colors. And so what I do is I find like a good pink or like a darkness of pink that I like. And then you can make it more bluish or more purplish or more yellow greenish you know what i mean so i have this custom made pink one that i and i use this lighter pink shade that i've made and then i outline it and make the outline thicker and i like to use this brighter more bold looking pink and it should look like this to be honest this is like cute but not good enough so what i do is i go to style and i make sure that this shadow section so there's spacing underline and blend but i use shadow and i make sure that the blur is up a little bit and i like to just make it as dark as possible to make the text really pop, pop, pop. and notice how this is just like a little bit more 3d looking than without a shadow like flat you know and then i've been really getting into the color purple for text lately um, I don't really know why, it just kind of hit me. Uh, here's my other one that I use. I literally use the same technique. Um, I just have a lighter purple and I make the outline darker. And then I use a darker purple and then I make the black, the background, like the shadow. And these are my two colorful text types that I've really been liking lately. And then for my plain text, I have two types actually. So I'll just show you guys on one text. Basically, I like to do either white with a black outline and then doing the blurred shadow. I like to switch it up and do black text. So yeah, I've been like going between like the black and the white and the white and the black. And I just switch it up with every thumbnail because to have a little bit of variety, which is important, but also it's also important to have a theme on your channel. I be changing my aesthetic like every three videos and I finally found one like last week after doing YouTube for almost two years. The font that I use, which a lot of people want to know this one, 
which is Shoreline's Script Bold. That is my cursive font and I like to use it, but I've been actually refraining from it lately because it's kind of busy and it makes my thumbnails look super extra and busy. So I don't know if it's good for my thumbnails, so I'm just kind of working on that. But I usually do the same techniques that I do with my other font, just using this font. I like to have it with like the darker color <laughs> inside inside and then like a lighter shade pink on the outer side which is something i've just been liking um but it also is making my thumbnail look really busy so yeah i usually like to just have like one or two colors of text or one or two words that pop on my thumbnail and then the rest are just plain using the black and white text but it's just preference honestly you do you, you do your own colors, your aesthetic. Um, I sometimes add like a little caption like, and I use that same font and I just kind of put it here, you know? And sometimes I don't put any shadow just so that all the other words that are really important can be more uh, more emphasized. I, I don't really know, like it kind of changes all the time. Sometimes I do do this black background to make it a little bit more put together with my other words. <gasps> Guys sit down videos are so scary until I like finish filming them and I'm finished I'm finished I love you guys so much and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye do you see how it's like fogged up because I just kissed it